So now it's time to talk about our posture with the pin bone. This is maybe the most challenging part of beginning to learn a breast instrument because particularly the trombone is relatively tricky to, to get hold of and grapple with. And you see experienced players holding their instruments, they're very relaxed with instruments, they've been playing them for years. It's not a problem and it looks very easy. For a beginner, it's quite tricky. Now one of the reasons it's tricky is because quite often we teach how to hold the trombone like I'm speaking to you now. Unfortunately, the player, the new player, isn't looking at their instruments as you are through the camera. So let's think about this. Perhaps it's easier to place ourselves in the position of the learner. So they're going to learn to play and hold the trombone and this is their view. So I always believe that it's great to try and teach first posture in holding the trombone from the position of the player. So I'll turn around in front of a group, like this, and instruct them. So let's deal with the left hand first. The left hand does all the holding work of the trombone, completely supporting the waist of the instrument. Now with the P-bone, this is no great task. Also we've got lots of pretty meaty parts of the instrument that are easy to grasp. I'll start by teaching you the, the proper, in inverted commas, traditional trombone grip. So, thumbs up, and from behind, this thumb lands in that nice space we've created for it to live here on that brace. And quite simply, if you push the fingers forward, they just wrap around the instrument. And you can see we've created a nice angle here to make that a lot more comfortable. So that's the classic trombone holding position. Thumbs up, onto that brace, and the fingers fold through. For smaller hands, it's quite acceptable to use thumb and have a finger around this side, or even grasp like this. Another way for a smaller hand to work is like a pistol grip, like this. So all those grips are fine on the P bone because we've designed it so that it's anatomically relevant to all those holding positions. One of the reasons they work is because on a traditional trombone, this part of the instrument, the bell, is very heavy and it pulls the instrument over. So you often see trombone players holding their instrument with a finger here, like that, to counterbalance this weight. Of course, on the P bone, this is a much lighter part of the instrument, so it's easy to hold it this way or this way, or even this way. For a peep bone, none of those things are wrong, and I'll come to the big target at the end of this session. So that's the left hand, thumbs up, on the brace, wherever it's comfortable. That's cool. For tiny hands, past the brace and a pistol grip. Let's talk now about the right hand. Similarly, thumbs up. I'm going to make a glove puppet. Hello. How are you? A glove puppet shape with our hand. The glove puppet approaches the slide and the thumb sits nicely in this small indentation. The two fingers can then grip. Simple as that. The only job for the right hand is to move the slide because the left hand is doing all the supporting work. Left hand, right hand. That's much easier to do from the player's perspective than it is to do from this perspective. So please be mindful of that whilst teaching posture. The next thing we need to do is to talk about how the instrument approaches the face. We've already spoken about the mouthpiece and where that's placed on the lips and how to energise our first buzz. We want to keep that angle we've carefully created with the mouthpiece so the posture we engage with the trombone has to support that piece of work. We're holding the trombone nicely, we've got our nice posture. Importantly, our head is up and I'm looking straight ahead at you. I'm not looking down at the instrument and I'm not going to look down at the instrument. So the task now is to place the mouthpiece in that comfortable position that we've worked on whilst it's attached to the trombone. So let's kind of ignore where the trombone is and focus on the mouthpiece and the angle of the attack. So I'm going to slowly bring my instrument to my lips to re reproduce the angle of attack. Here we go. 
I'm not moving my hand at all. I'm making the mouthpiece loud in that comfortable position. Please also notice the angle that my arms are at. Not too high, not squeezed in, just gentle, a nice gentle pyramid. And that pyramid of support here and here is very important. Straight wrists and a good pyramid shape is more important than exactly how the left hand is holding the bell. However, the right hand posture is simple and we should try and get an effective and accurate posture right from the beginning. I've got my pyramid, I've got my angle, and I've got with my head. Let's watch that from the side. Head up straight, looking straight ahead. Nice and relaxed. Arms not flying out, not tight in. And now I'm going to bring the mouthpiece straight to my lips. You can see the angle. Same as in our work on the mouthpiece. Head always up straight, looking straight ahead. I'm not looking at the trombone at all. That's all there is to it, but that might be the hardest thing you need to teach. 